Hey, welcome to Decide and Do 153. So earlier today I was asked a question and while I was answering it, I kind of thought about some of the you know, portions of the answer and really wh why I do what I'm doing and why I'm doing it now uh, compared to when I eventually, or originally had changed my mindset and started to change my life overall. And I think that honestly, it, why am I doing it now? You know, why did I start this these video, this vlog, like you know, six months ago? Was because the product had, was finally there enough for me to realize that not only was it working, uh, my my philosophy on life was not only working, but it, the results were just completely different than they were prior to. And with that, it was because I started. To not only did I start to train my brain throughout, you know, the last six years, but because of that, the results started to take on a life of their own. And when I started to realize that, you know, mindset is everything, and if I make sure that I have the proper mindset when it comes to those things, then the application of whatever it is that I'm trying to go after is so much more because I know that I can do something compared to previously when my mindset was like, well, you know, you can try, but it doesn't mean that you're going to be able to accomplish whatever it is. And, you know, over those six years, finally, you know, the, the product year by year started to get better and better and better to now where I know when I apply myself in the same way that I w am applying myself on a regular day to day basis, that my mindset and my brain is trained properly to accomplish the things that I want to. And what I mean by accomplishing the, the things that I want to, I still have to take the action, right? I know what actions I have to take to get to where it is that I want to get. But my mindset, I don't say, you know what, I don't know if I can do this anymore. Or, you know, that's not really the greatest idea. Or, you know, there's a possibility of you're going to fail. I have the proper mindset. My brain is trained that, hey, if I want to accomplish it, if I, if I take this, the proper steps and I, and I go through my decide and do philosophy and I, and I work through setting you know, out that path, uh, I ensure that I, I never accept failure and, I, and my mindset is changed on whatever it is, then the result is going to be what I originally decided to do. And it is. The product is finally there. The product for me you know, is there where when, whatever it is, you know, there are certain things that I know that are coming up for me on, on you know, the calendar. And I know what needs to be done on each and every single one of them. And I know what the product is going to be even before it is there because I've, I have that. I have that mindset I, and I've trained my brain properly. It's hard to try to explain you know, what exactly each every you know individual is doing to properly train their brain but really I mean it's just believing in yourself in a different way than you were previously and with that you're starting to accomplish little goals little and I say little you know start to accomplish those little goals and, and allow the snowball effect of those good little goals being accomplished turned into something great you know whether that's something that you're going for you're going for a job advancement and you you know you might have you know not gotten there but you know what the next year you do or you know maybe take you a couple years you get that job advancement and then you you know you prepare yourself for the next one because you know what you've been able to do or you're trying to go back to, to school you know try to you know that higher education and you or take the classes one after another after another into that snowball effect you know you, you know that you're going to graduate because you know the proper you know planning that's went into it you know the proper things that need to be done you know all the different classes that need to be taken and you you have that and whether you know it's financially and you start to save a little bit or you start to you know put things in a different uh, you know set them aside and you realize that you know you have to properly plan for your savings properly plan for your future and you can't just spend all the money that you have what, whatever it is it's, it's on you the individual to allow that that snowball effect to kind of take that and that Without even realizing it for a lot of individuals, that will start to train your brain on knowing that your mindset is evolving from that of, oh, well, I don't know if I can or I probably shouldn't to, yes, I will, yes, I can, I'm going to. And because of that, those things actually happen. And it's not like you're telling the future. I'm not saying you're telling the future or anything like that. I'm saying that you know that you're going to be able to accomplish something because you have set your mind to it and you have the proper mindset to set it. You know That's the hard part. I didn't have that previously. I didn't have that 10 years ago. And I've been able to see the change and I actually have the product now to look at that raw product to look at and see what I've been able to do, what I've been able to accomplish and just by changing my mindset overall. So, 
you know, I, I challenge every single one of you to, 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 to start to train your brain in a different way. And at the end of the day, if you do that, you can look, you know, a few years from now, it might be a couple, five, 10, whatever, but the product will eventually be there. And then you'll be able to rely on that and be able to look back and you know what, think to yourself, I'm going to do this because I know what I've done already. So, hey, I appreciate you watching the side and do 153. Until tomorrow, thanks for watching.